These were our boys. They have DNA that run in our veins today. They were from St. John's, from the small bays and villages and communities. These were our boys. The scenery in the Somme Valley in northern France is absolutely breathtaking. As the sun rises on the tiny town below, it's hard to believe that this was host to some of the bloodiest battles during the First World War. We're kind of standing in a part of the park that uh, isn't open to the general public. It's fenced off in this area. It's pretty intense. From here, they march forward towards the German lines, far up in the horizon there. At this point, the Newfoundlanders are the only people advancing. That's right. The Essex and the Newfoundland Regiment were the only two that were called to go over the top at 915. But for whatever reason, the, the Essex, Essex didn't go. Didn't go. This is the only caribou in Belgium. It marks the final advance of Newfoundland Regiment before the end of the war in 1918. And very near here is the spot where Tommy Ricketts was awarded a medal that was not given to any other member of the Newfoundland Regiment. The highest recognition that the British Army could offer. The, the Victoria, Victoria Cross. Cross. This is where the impossible happened. German guns were at the edge of this field. They're giving our boys a really hard time. Uh, we needed some volunteers to go up and take them out. So Matthew Brazel and our man Tommy Ricketts stepped forward. The boys start advancing across the field in short 10 meter bursts. And Tommy is firing a Lewis gun from his hip. 